So up to 80% of people will get back pain at some point in their life. And recent research from the World Health Organisation has shown that low back pain is responsible for more disability across the globe than any other health condition. What we also know is that the associated costs due to, due to missed work or due to other treatments are in the billions of dollars every year. Multidisciplinary rehabilitation is different from usual care because it takes a more encompassing approach to the problem. So what it does, it has different components which target the different issues that people with low back pain might have. So it includes a physical component and a psychological component and or a work-related or social component. We did a systematic review which looked at the added benefit of multidisciplinary rehabilitation over and above usual care. So usual care are the typical sorts of treatments that people get when they have low back pain. It's important to do this research because multidisciplinary rehabilitation programs are already being used in practice. We didn't really know whether they were effective versus usual care. Because multidisciplinary rehabilitation programs are intensive, both in terms of the patient commitment and associated costs, it's really important that patients know what to expect. When we refer to disability in the context of low back pain, what we're talking about are day-to-day -day activities. So these are the jobs that need to be done around the house or walking outside for a short period. What we found was that the people that received multidisciplinary rehabilitation had added benefit in terms of their pain and disability compared to usual care. Further, these benefits were maintained in a long period. The benefits offered by multidisciplinary rehabilitation versus usual care offer a real opportunity for significant improvements in the management of people with low back pain.